speed that comes with playing with a fast tempo. Jordan told us we have to play as fast as the quarterback can handle it. So we're going to go fast. Notre Let's see. All uh, right, good evening, everyone. We uh, want to update here. We're sorry to break into the game, but we've got a tornado warning actually in effect now for portions of Raven, Stevens, and Oversaw County counties here in South Carolina. We're watching two individual cells here, one just to the north of Tacoa, uh, the other one here now just to the south of Wahala, moving off to the north. These are moving off quickly off towards the north at about 15 miles per hour here. And uh, but what we're seeing here, notice there's not a lot of lightning or any big type thunderstorms, but with the rotation in the atmosphere with that tropical system moving moving closer to the area. It is sparking off these little tiny showers that are moving from south to north fairly quickly. And what we have seen, the history of these showers down to our south and west near Atlanta, is that they've been producing some of these quick spin-up tornadoes. So that's what we're concerned about here. Again, one just to the north of Tacoa, the other one now just to the south of Wahala here. Now, as we switch the radar over to velocity mode here, again, this measures the wind. Uh, and you can see here, not seeing a big signature of any rotation here, but there are some indications here. One just south of Tulua Falls here, and then the other uh, area of rotation there again just to the south of Wahala there uh, but overall no strong indications of anything but these are those quick spin up storms and so they have a tendency to spin up very quickly and can produce that and you can kind of see that if I uh, widen the picture out here notice here we have just these little tiny showers uh, quickly pop up and now moving off towards the north and east and within this there's a little bit of rotation that's being indicated here in the atmosphere and these can produce some of these very brief but quick spin up tornadoes here that kind of drop real quickly and lift back up in a matter of minutes there. But when they do so, they can produce some damage there. So that's what we're watching. We've got more shower activity developing here just to the south of Greenville as well. But of course, the main concern now over northeast Georgia and over Oconee County here in South Carolina here as these uh, little tiny showers are indicating some rotation. More widespread rain off to the south and west will be moving north and east as well. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that. But again, for us right now, we're going to be kind of focusing in here on areas to the uh, south there. So again, taking a look here at the velocity mode as live Super Doppler 4 HD kind of scans the sky right now. Again, not showing any strong indications of rotation, but we are, are seeing some signs higher up in the atmosphere of a little bit of rotation showing up with both of these cells, one south of Tulua Falls, the other just to the south of Wahala here, and that's what we're going to be, uh, again, keeping a very close eye on. We've got kind of a warm front that's associated right across the area, and so what tends to happen is with along these warm fronts, you get the twisting of the winds because winds are going to be coming in out of the north and east on the north side of the warm front, but then on the south side of the warm front, winds are coming in out of the south and southwest, and that's just enough rotation in the air to give us that chance of those uh, brief spin-up tornadoes there showing up across the region. So again, we're watching this shower here just to the north of Tacoa, and then another shower here just to the south of Wahala. Again, I call them showers because there's no lightning with this here. These are producing some brief heavy downpours, and so if there is a quick spin-up tornado, it will likely be rain wrap because again, there's a lot of rain, very tropical moisture. And what happens, the clouds, the cloud base here at the top of the sky, really high up in those spring thunderstorms that give you the big tornadoes. But when you get some of these uh, quick spin-up tornadoes here with these tropical systems, the cloud base is very low. And so, again, that can also help to kind of mask that a little bit there. But we've got the two areas of concern here that we're keeping an eye on. And again, these are quickly moving from north or from south to north across the area here. So uh, basically what we're seeing here, I noticed here for the storm over in Oconee County here, uh, radar is basically indicating a storm about six miles to the southwest of Wahala. So there you can see here, here's Wahala. There's that cell that we're watching here that continues to move off towards the north at about 15 miles per hour. And notice that little appendage here, this little bit of a hook that's showing up there. That's the area that you're going to want to watch. That potential uh, brief spin up tornado would occur. It would be on the southern end of this little shower here uh, down in this area here. So uh, that's the area that we're going to be kind of focusing on here in Oconee County. And then we've got the other cell here that's off towards the west here. Uh, we got this cell here near Tacoa now that's moving on off towards the north as well fairly quickly here at about 10 to 15 miles per hour here. So I'm going to step out of here the shot just a second and zoom in on radar to give you a little better perspective of what we're going to be keeping a very close eye on here. Again, especially over Oconee County now we're watching that cell just to the south of Wahala here and again this is kind of the area that I was talking about here just north of Westminster here and you can see here this is kind of like a kidney bean shaped system. So 
This area here, that's where you're going to be seeing the torrential heavy rainfall coming down, the low cloud base as well. And then right there at the bottom part there, you see how this kind of bends in a little bit? So you get the green that comes out and that yellow just to the north and east of Westminster there. That's where any potential spin-up tornado would sit right now, kind of right in that little hook area there and to the south. So this will be lifting off towards the north uh, very quickly here. So if it stays on its current track, this will be making its way north and moving very close to the west side of Wahala there. So we're going to be watching that. And again, right now in Wahala, you're seeing the clouds really uh, thickening up. You're seeing that heavy rainfall starting to move in. So again, here's the new scan coming in from live Super Doppler 4 HD. And you can see as this cell kind of continues to lift off towards the north there, this is the area that we continue to keep a close eye on here. And I'll illustrate this better for you to give you a kind of a better idea of where the rotation would be here. And so when we look for this, again, we look for the, the little notches that show up. So right in here, you've got winds coming into the storm and then winds coming on the outside there. So if there is a potential uh, tornado, that would be kind of where that X is. That's the spot that you're going to want to focus on here because you've got that warm air flowing into that storm to kind of feed it to help it grow. And then on the backside, that's where the storm breathes out the cooler air. So the tornado is developing in this area here, that would be where the actual rotation would be. So that's why we're going to watch that for you here. And then as we take a look a little bit closer in on uh, some of the wind products here to give you an idea of what the winds are showing. Again, I'm not seeing a big indication here on, on radar of a big time rotation, but it is something we're going to watch. Uh, as we take a look here at the wind shear, though, not seeing much in the way of that as well. Uh, right now, but uh, again, uh, this is kind of the area that we're going to be keeping a very uh, close eye on here as we go throughout the next uh, real, next few minutes, at least through 815 as this moves on off towards the north. So let's get to the important part. Let me put a storm tracker on this for you because I want to uh, give folks a little heads up here of what we're talking about. Again, this is moving north at about 15 miles per hour here, so booking it off towards the north. So this is going to be impacting places here again around Wahala, Wahala Elementary School, uh, Pine Street Elementary as well. And let me kind of zoom out here, maybe even give you a little better uh, view here where this is going to be kind of affecting. So folks over there in Oconee County now, keep an eye on this here as it lifts on off towards the north and east here. And again, I'll put that tracker back on there for you and give you a better scope of folks that need to be aware of this. So we're talking Wahala, Picket Post, over towards uh, Flat Shoals and Salem here. That's where this cell is. Again, lifting north uh, pretty quickly at about 15 miles per hour. Again, that potential area uh, where that tornado may would be would be just to the north of Westminster now, but south of Wahala. But here comes that moderate to heavy rainfall on the west side of Wahala now. This is moving basically right up that 183 corridor there. So uh, basically between Westminster and Wahala, if you know folks in that area, you should already be in your tornado safety place that's at the lowest level of your home, the most interior room there, and away from any windows. And of course, grab something to cover your head with there as this moves on through. Again, uh, these cells that pop up with tropical systems, they're usually uh, quick. That's why we call them quick spin up tornadoes. They spin up really quickly and then they fall apart, but still, don't let that fool you. You still want to be in your place, your safe place. And of course, this is not one of those situations where you want to try to go out with the camera and try to grab a picture and to see the uh, storm in the distance because this is going to be very rain wrapped. The tropical moisture uh, is going to be uh, pretty high in these systems here. Uh, remember the big storms that we had back in the springtime when we had about three or four storms that were kind of training behind each other. Those were what we call low precipitation uh, supercells. So you didn't have a lot of the tropical moisture. It was more of just the higher up storms that were producing the tornado. So you could see this storm is far away from the center of the actual system. But with these systems, they sit so low, the cloud base, the cloud deck there sits so low as well, close to the ground, it's hard to see along with the rain as that continues to lift on off towards the north as well. So picket posts, Flat Shoals, Salem, uh, you guys need to be aware that may be heading your way. So let's go on and look over also onto uh, northeast Georgia. I haven't forgotten about you guys as well. And that storm that will continue to lift on off towards the east here. Uh, and as we go over that way here, we'll see we're keeping an eye on that sail just to the north to Tacoa. Again, not seeing a strong signature of rotation with that, but still we want to let you know that there is that potential uh, showing up, but that one doesn't have uh, so much of a notch as well. But if you look closely, if we were concerned, it would be kind of in this area here, uh, just to the uh, north. And this is more of a rural area here. Let's see, looks like they have updated that uh, tornado warning now uh, and lifted it north. So this is going to be heading over towards Clayton as well. 
Uh, we can get a latest update on that for you here while we're live here. And this goes until 8.15. Uh, and again, you can see here as we get some, some information on that cell as it lifts off towards the north and east here. Again, not seeing much uh, showing up right now. That's alarming on radar, but again, we've got to watch that still nonetheless here uh, because this this, act, this storm here, I, I call it a thunderstorm, but that's a loose word because we're not seeing any lightning with this. It's just a shower that has some rotation with it, but it is capable of producing a tornado here. Again, it's about eight miles now north of Tacoa, and it continues to make its way off towards the north at about 15 miles per hour, so it's booking it pretty quickly. So you're not going to have a lot of time before it moves in uh, to your area there. But this is uh, right near the uh, Tulua Falls area now. And again, you can see with that live sweep, they're updating here, showing us that storm. And again, we've got the other warning here over in Oconee County, and that one continues to go until 815 as well. And that one does show a little more concern uh, specifically because of the uh, the notch that's still showing up with this cell as it moves on through here. So let me go in and show you just a little bit here in terms of uh, what we've got going on with velocity here you can see again uh, not seeing too much again a concern I'll check the wind shear product and we're not seeing uh, much on that but again uh, radar is uh, indicating that potential rotation showing up there uh, so that's going to be kind of the area that we're going to want to watch very closely and the area that I'm talking about here I'll draw it for you again uh, is going to be kind of right in here where you see that kind of coming out just like that and going there we've got a probably possibility of a tornado would be just to the west of 183 there uh, south and west of Wahala but if you're in Wahala or areas just to the north of there you need to be in your tornado safety place at this time as that cell continues to lift on off towards the north and east here so we are continuing to keep a very close eye on that but again both of these warnings go until 815 and you see a new live sweep just coming in showing that the area of activity now moving off towards the north a little bit so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear this off here off of radar and we'll go in and update this here and go in a little closer and show you kind of the areas of con concern right now. So as we look at this right now, uh, you'll be able to see here we've got here again west of 183. But the area that I'd be most concerned about here is right around that uh, uh, Rock Crusher Road area over towards uh, Bunky Kelly Road and uh, Waterworks Road area. That's going to be kind of the area of concern right now. Again, this is just to the south and west of Wahala here off to the northeast part of your screen and then right in this area right here. So you've got winds coming in, feeding the storm there, and then you have winds coming out on the backside. So when you see that little indention or notch that goes into this storm, that's the area where you could have some rotation showing up there. So that means folks to the north and east of that, especially north of that really here, as you get up there uh, towards the north there, we could be seeing that potential showing up here. So I'm getting a new update on this uh, storm here right now coming in. So let me just uh, take a look at that for you real quick and show you here. Uh, what's going on? Let's see here what we're seeing with that activity here. Again, this is the cell that's about five miles now to the south and west of Wahala, moving north at 15 miles per hour. Again, a brief uh, weak tornado is likely. Uh, mobile homes could be flipped. Falling trees could cause some death or serious injury and major damages to houses. So you need to move again to the lowest level of your home, the most interior room, and stay away from windows and things like that again. But uh, the potential of a, uh, a tornado is there and uh, indicating that potential is fairly likely again where we have this little indention notch that's showing up here. Again, this is south and west of Wahala, kind of right in this area here, and they just updated that tornado warning. So as this area lifts to the north, uh, that would be where that potential uh, tornado could be showing up right now. Again, these are uh, the cloud deck is fairly low to the ground. So uh, what's happening is radar is trying to scan the sky around there and it's running into the fact that the rain is so heavy close to the ground, it can't really see necessarily past the blinding rain. So again, once that rain picks up, it's going to be rain wrapped if there is a tornado and it could be move, making its way on off towards the north and east there. So. What I want to do is kind of give you a uh, pull out here and give you a better uh, perspective of what's going on here with this activity as it lifts on off towards the north and east. Again, we've got this cell and we'll put it into motion here so you can see kind of the direction that it is moving at this time. And over the past 30 minutes, we've had this cell quickly lifting off from south to north uh, across the area now, and that continues to do so here. So uh, again, folks off to the north of this cell, you guys need to be aware that this is going to be moving fairly quickly and you're going to want to make sure that you're already in your tornado safety place here as this lifts itself towards the north and east there. So we're talking places like um, 
Hilltop Bike Park over towards uh, Moody Cove and uh, Macedonian Church over towards the north there as this sale moves off towards the north fairly quickly here. Again, it should be on the west side of Wahala. So if you live on the west side, then you definitely need to be in your tornado safety place. But really anyone in Wahala should already be taking those precautions. Again, in the lowest level of your home, the most interior room, make sure you grab a, a bicycle helmet if you have it, a, a strong textbook or something like that that you can put over your head to make sure you can cover that as well. Uh, if you're going to the bathtub, maybe grab the mattress as well and put over you as this continues to move off towards the north here. Uh, but we're continuing to watch, especially the southern part of that storm there where you have that little hook showing up. That would be where the tornado would sit if we do have a tornado. Now, uh, at, at, if there was any good news right now, I would say that there, I have not seen any um, confirmed reports of a tornado on the ground as of yet. But again, radar is strongly indicating that potential of a tornado there, which is why the warning was issued. So uh, therefore, y it's going to be hard to see because it's going to be rain wrapped because this is tropical moisture. So again, don't wait to try to see it. Just make sure you head on down into your safety place if you live in Oconee County and that contains a lift on off towards the north and east. Let me check and see if we have some new uh, information rolling in here. Um, as I look here to view here again, no uh, major reports coming in at this point in time. But again, for uh, Raven County over in Habersham County in northeast Georgia, you've got the tornado warning until 815. And then again, we still continue with this tornado warning here for Oconee County as well. And that will go until 815 as well as this continues to make its way on off towards the north fairly quickly here. Now, I know we had a couple of folks asking about what's going on in and around the Clemson area. And this is the good news right now for you if you're in and around the Clemson area. I think uh, things are quiet right now. Hopefully that remains the case. We definitely don't want to have any severe weather uh, there at this time. But uh, of course, again, in and around Clemson right now, things are good. So uh, I know a lot of folks for the football game are out that way. Things are looking pretty good now. Uh, off towards the eastern half of the area here, we are seeing some, some rain really starting to pick up. More heavy rain coming down from Spartanburg over towards Lawrence. This is actually along a warm front that's moving on through. And again, we've got some heavy rain off towards the west as well and more severe weather. They've had quite a bit of severe weather around the uh, Atlanta area with lots of spin up tornadoes this afternoon and evening. Uh, and uh, we're seeing that rain shield expanding as well to the north. So we're going to be seeing more uh, rain, heavy rainfall for the area as we go throughout later this evening and tonight. But of course, right now, all eyes are on these two cells that continue to make their way north. Uh, pretty small in nature, but as they move north, they are producing that potential of uh, at least seeing some rotation or a tornado. So again, one here uh, just to the uh, east, northeast here of Turnerville, and then the second one now, which uh, again, the one we're keeping a very close eye on is this one moving near Wahala at this time on the western side of town, and then it'll be making its way off towards the north from there as well. And that tornado warning goes until 8.15. So again, uh, right now, this is a very isolated situation, but we do have two tornado warnings in the area with these two pop-up showers, and I call them showers because we don't have any lightning. And so and what's really interesting when you have these tropical systems moving in is that you don't need all the high instability we talk about with those springtime storms. You don't need the sunshine. You don't need the hot temperatures. All you need is a little twisting of the wind, and that's what these tropical systems produce there. And as they continue to do that, that's what's leading to these little pop-up showers here that can develop a little rotation, and that gives us that uh, tornado warning that does continue to kind of show up there. So uh, let me look at the uh, wind product and look at the velocity here again for you and uh, see if we see again any uh, nothing again that's too alarming with this showing up here at least through our velocity but uh, there are some indications here showing up of that potential rotation showing up so uh, that's why we're here and as I check out the debris here not seeing uh, anything too crazy dropping out here. Uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on here to the west of Wahala to see if uh, we start to see any uh, uh, indications. If you start to see some um, greens or yellows showing up inside this pink red shaded area here, that gives you an idea that there could be something else besides uh, uh, rain basically in the air and that lets us know uh, that we have some debris coming down. But again, as of now, not seeing that, but again, keeping a very close eye on it. But um, as we go back here, folks, along the 28 corridor there, uh, know that this is lifting off towards the north. And I am going to just kind of zoom in here. Sorry about that. And give you kind of a little street level look here. So show you uh, folks that need to be kind of aware of this and 
Right now, I'd say around Adam Sullivan Road over towards Flat Rock Road here, uh, coming in on the west side of Wahala here. So folks around Campbelltown Road, and as you head off towards the north of that, that's going to be another area that you're going to be keeping a very close eye on here. And this will be making its way towards South Broad Street over towards uh, Zion Road as well. And that will be lifting north. So uh, the western side of uh, South Broad Street there on the west side of Wahala, that's where that particular uh, tornado potential could be as it lifts on off towards the north and east here and again we've got all the heavy rain off to the west and southwest but it's definitely going to be areas around towards like uh, Campbelltown Road this should be making its way up towards you probably within the next couple of minutes so if you're again if you're not in your tornado safety place there you will want to do that head down to the lowest level of your home the most interior room uh, away from any windows or anything like that and uh, again be be aware that this will be a quick spin up tornado but it is something that we will be uh, watching here as this continues to lift on off uh, towards the north and east here but uh, uh, there's also the storm over towards Clayton and, and uh, Tallulah State Park there and that's also moving off towards the north at 15 and it has a tornado warning as well so let me step out again here for you and show you also notice we put the game up here out to the south and west so I know folks who are calling probably about the game good news is you got that going on so you can keep up with that as well but again uh, with tornado warnings and the threat of uh, life, we always want to make sure that we keep folks updated on what's going on uh, with that situation there as it moves north and east. So again, this is going to pass on the west side of Wahala. Uh, again, the area of concern, I'll stop this here and uh, highlight kind of the, the area that we really want to keep a, a very close eye on it. It's going to be right in this area, believe it or not. That's that's the area that you're going to look for there because inside of that area there, that's where the rotation will be showing up because you've got winds coming in here and then you've got winds coming out here. And so that lines up to where that rotation would actually be able to make its way to the ground. But notice that's going to be west of 183, on the west side of 183, I should say, and also on the west side of Wahala as it continues to drift off towards the north and east there. So let's expand the view out a little bit here and put a tracker, a storm track on that for you again. And again, we'll show you here as this get a live update here from the uh, radar there and you'll be able to see as this uh, lifts on off towards the north and east here. So again, this is going to be coming in on the west side uh, over towards Pine Street Elementary School, uh, Wahala Middle School. Uh, Picket Post and also Pleasant uh, Ridge Baptist Church as well will all be uh, under the concern of that as well. So keep in mind on that there and we'll be watching that as it continues to uh, make its way again off towards the north and east here. So again, that's your area of rotation here. So there's Pine Street Elementary School. Here's Wahala as well or Wahala Middle School here on the western side. Here's uh, 28 over here. So again, somewhere between 28 and Wahala Middle School, that's where that area of rotation will be passing off towards the north. And so that's the area of concern right now. So let me step over here and see what we've got going on here, see if we've got some new updates coming in. Uh, so far, not seeing anything uh, for Habersham County. The warning was canceled. Um, but again, uh, we do still have that tornado warning for Raven County in Northeast Georgia as well. So we've got the Oconee County warning. That's the one I've been kind of focusing on here. But let's go over and show you what's going on now with the uh, warning there in uh, portions of uh, Raven County, just to give you an idea. Uh, we don't want to forget about folks over there as well. Again, this is uh, right near Tallulah Falls at this time, and that cell continues to lift on off towards the north and east. So I'm going to put this into motion here. Uh, let's see, put this here for a past, let's do past 15 minutes or so and give you an idea here. Again, this is moving off towards the north here. So if we were to put a tracker on that uh, cell as well, it will be making its way off towards the north and east. So we're talking places like... Uh, Let's see here, going off towards, uh, let's say, Wolf Creek Church over towards New Hope Church. So a lot of churches there in northeastern Ravy County there. So that's going to be kind of the area that's going to be impacted with that one as well. So that cell seems to be weakening a little bit. That's that's the good news there. Uh, and again, we're still watching, though, what's going on here over in Oconee County as this moves off towards the north and east as well. Again, I'll switch over here and take a look here at the velocity the, and look at the winds here in the storm and again not seeing a strong couplet or strong signal showing up but again well it's something that radar is still indicating that potential still exists there and even looking at uh you, you know all of our uh, debris signatures and things like that again not seeing any uh major dropout showing up here uh, but what I will do here is I will switch over to the radar mode and show you kind of the area of concern. Um, and so I will just kind of highlight that area of where that potential tornado would be. 
kind of right around the Wahala area, at least on the western side of town there. And then what I will do is I will switch to our debris tracker, which will uh, see where that matches up. Now, uh, with that being said, uh, there is some indication around uh, that area of at least a little bit of dropout, but I'm not seeing any anything uh, that would be too alarming right now. But uh, we'll keep an eye on this area here, um, again, around the Wahala area. If you start to see that moving north as well, then you, you will know that there is that potential of some debris flying around there in the air. But uh, again, right now, nothing that seems to stand out with that. But as I said, these are some tiny showers with the cloud deck being so low and all that tropical moisture moving through. It's very hard sometimes to uh, to see that activity as it moves on off towards the north and east there. But I do want to put another storm tracker on this for you uh, so that you have an idea of, of uh, again, an update of where this is heading and who's going to be impacted by that. And again, as we do that, you'll see here from Station Creek Cove over towards the Oconee State Park there around 819 uh, if this warning is allowed to uh, continue there. So uh, not seeing again, not getting any actual official uh, confirmed reports coming in yet of a tornado on the ground. But again, this radar has been really indicating over the past uh, 30 minutes or so that there is some rotation and that potential rotation. Remember, with the cloud deck so low to the ground or close to the ground, what happens is if you have a little bit of rotation, it doesn't take much for it to make its way to the ground because it's already close to the ground. So that's where you get those little quick spin up tornadoes that could feature uh, some of those problems there. And again, they only last for a few minutes. They're in and out because these showers are moving so quickly. And again, notice there's no lightning or anything like that. So these are very small, uh, tiny showers as they lift off to the north and east. But again, uh, the potential of a tornado there will is something that is of concern. So that's why we're going to be watching that for you closely here. So again, this is going to be moving primarily on the west side of Wahala, and it's now basically lifting, I would say, on the northwest side of town at, at this moment. But again, we'll keep a close eye on that here. Uh, but again, this is um, getting a new live update now coming in with radar. And again, you can see the area red there on Long 28. That's where the very heavy uh, torrential rainfall is coming down at this point. Uh, but just to the north and east of uh, Wahala, that area there where you see that little indention showing up, that's where we have that potential rotation and the turning of the winds there. So uh, things are kind of shaping up that way. Let's get a, a pull out and give a, a wide perspective so I can update everyone on what's going on here uh, with the area. Of course, we're very concerned about the tornado warning. But as we just take a look here at the area here, you can see I'm going to put this into uh, motion here and let the radar loop happen here and you'll be able to see kind of talk about what's going on because we've got some changes happening. Obviously, we've got more widespread moderate to heavy rain developing from Spartanburg to Lawrence, but also notice here we've got some very heavy rain here showing up here across northern Georgia and that's moving off towards the north and east. So if you have folks at the Clemson game right now, things are good. So it looks like they're probably going to be kicking things off with some dry weather and calm weather, but there is going to be some heavy rain that's going to be building in as we go throughout the game there. So hopefully they brought the ponchos and the umbrellas and things like that. And again, right in between that solid shield of rain that's coming in from the south and west and this rain moving in from the north or uh, from the east here, we've got tornado warnings showing up and it's just two tornado warnings for some pop up showers that developed. You'll see them popping up right after about 630 and then drifting off towards the north and east again here. And Again, radar indicating just enough rotation for the potential of a couple of spin up tornadoes here. So we'll watch that. We'll also watch what's happening, what's going on down to our south and west. I can kind of update the radar here and show you what's kind of going on down to the south and west as well, because uh, for our friend, if you know anybody in the Atlanta area, they've probably been telling you they have been under numerous tornado warnings throughout the past couple of hours. And in fact, they still are seeing some tornado warnings down there right on the eastern side of the Atlanta metro area. They've got several tornado warnings coming out. So that's where our atmosphere, the weather is coming from. And that's the type of weather that they have been experiencing all afternoon. Uh, and so we're going to be watching that. Now, I think as we go throughout the evening, I think the primary concern will be heavy rain and flash flooding across the area. And then we'll see that lifting on off towards the north and east there. Uh, but we can't rule out a couple of these little isolated showers moving from south to north. That's this entire line pushes to the east. So that's going to be what's going to be giving us a, kind of our uh, tornado concern as it lifts on off towards the north and east. So again, just to give you an update, we still have for a few more minutes at least, we've got the tornado warning that's in effect for Oconee County. The good news is, looks like um, the tornado warning for Raven County in northeast Georgia has been allowed to expire as that sale moves off towards the north and east. So we'll see what happens here with this sale here in Oconee County. But right now, the Raven County storm uh, looks like the tornado warning has been allowed to expire. So we 
can kind of go back in and focus on our Oconee County storm a little closer and give you an idea of what's uh, happening with that. And again, uh, a good news is these are, um, there's no lightning. These are not very large storms. So uh, we're not looking at, uh, you know, a large tornado on the ground, but what we are looking at, there is a, a potential of a quick spin up tornado and a pretty high p uh, potential of that as radar continues to indicate as that sail lifts on off towards the north and east here. So I'll go back in and show you here again. We continue to watch anytime you see these little hooks or appendages that show up here on the tail end of the storms here that always gets our concern because you have winds that are coming out like this and you have winds going in like that so that's your area of rotation showing up and so if you look at that on the map you'll be able to see here we're talking basically to the north and west of the Wahala area right now that would be where that potential tornado would sit so I know your eyes are drawn to this big red mass area here that's a lot of heavy rain that's a lot of probably some gusty winds uh, I don't think we're seeing any hail out of this activity but that's a lot of heavy rain showing up there but the area for that potential spin up tornado would be down here to the southern part of that cell there kind of where you see this little hook or appendage showing up and that's very important because if you're off towards the north and you're getting all this heavy rainfall that's coming in you're not going to be able to see what could be down to the south if there's a potential tornado showing up there as well so uh, that's again the greatest concern here this is right now crossing over the 28 corridor basically right on top of that just to the west and northwest of Wahala so heading out of Wahala heading off towards the north and west there on 28 that's where that potential rotation is possibly crossing over uh, 28 at this time so again just be aware of that and know that if you have folks that live north of that, that they need to be in their tornado safety place that's the most interior uh, room at the lowest level of your home as well so uh, we're watching that very closely there I'm gonna go check on a couple of things here with the radar but uh, Renee I believe joins us now and Renee tell us uh, if you have any updates for us on what's going on with the situation near Wahala well, Cedric, we are, do have eyes there, but we're still trying to gather more information on exactly what it looks like on the ground. And if you're watching this, you can help us. If you can watch safely, again, you're not going to want to go outside right now. You're going to want to wait for the storm to pass. But once we are given the all clear, if you are able to safely take a cell phone photo or a cell phone video, that would be the time. But again, I can't stress this enough. Safety is key. I know a lot of folks are frustrated because we're trying to balance Clemson game coverage and this important safety weather announcement. But if you are in the Walhalla area, you're going to want to listen to what Cedric says. You're going to want to get to an interior room of your home. You're going to want to get away from any windows or anything that can be a projectile. If you're outside or if you know someone who is outside, you're going to want to call them in. You're going to text them to get inside the home. You're going to go, uh, want to go to the lowest level or the safest interior space. And Cedric, if I can ask just for folks who might be just joining, in and want to really understand what's going on right now. Can you remind us the difference between a watch and a warning? What do people need to be aware of at this time? Great question, Renee. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because a tornado watch uh, is issued when there is the conditions are favorable for a tornado. So a lot of times in spring setups, we have a, a potential of seeing uh, tornadoes developing here, and we know that we have a lot of the ingredients together. So we give you a watch ahead of time. That could be several hours out to say, hey, Things are, 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 are right, basically, for tornadoes to possibly develop, so you need to stay weather aware. Now, when you get into a tornado warning situation, like a tornado warning like what we have uh, this evening, that's a very different story. Things are heightened up quite a bit more because a tornado warning basically means either radar has strongly indicated that a tornado is on the ground or a radar has that or a tornado has actually been spotted by someone so therefore there's one or two options but the either way it usually means that hey you need to be heading to your safe place and prepare for the potential of a tornado to move by your area also a tornado warning is relegated to basically smaller areas so we get these little red polygons that are issued for certain counties and that's when we try to alert folks to hey that there's a potential of a tornado moving your way when you're talking about an actual tornado watch that's an area that you can have the watch that could be uh, as big as a couple of states and that just lets us know hey folks this is the area that has a chance of seeing those tornadic conditions as we go throughout the day so very important stuff to watch there and as we take a look at live super doppler 4hd right now you can again see this is the area we're watching there where that hook shape area here is so if you're heading up towards uh, let's say rocky knoll road area you need to be in your safe place because this is about to hop over 28 soon and this will be moving north and that will be where that potential tornado may be as well so again here's the good news though for you if you're 
you're in Wahala, if you're in downtown, if you're in the central part of the city there, again, the good news here is that most of this activity, you've got to drive westbound, north and west, heading out of town there. That's where that potential rotation will be. So that's some good news there. In fact, most of the rain is coming to an end with that quick shower as it moves through as well. So uh, moving fairly quickly across the area. But again, we're going to be keeping a, a close eye on this as that hook is still showing up there. Uh, we'll wait here in the next minute or two. We'll find out if this tornado warning will be extended uh, for areas north and west of Wahala, heading up towards Playground Road and over towards uh, uh, places like Rustic Trail and uh, Peaceful Valley Road area. So uh, stand by for that as we should get some information on that here fairly soon. Here's a new live uh, sweep of the radar now telling us here that that cell is definitely north now of Wahala. And as we uh, just check out some of the wind data here on the velocity, uh, not seeing again a strong uh, couplet showing up or a strong area of rotation showing up. Uh, but we are again keeping an eye on that as well. And as I just check around here and look at some information here, seeing some winds that are potentially gusting up to around 50 miles per hour still, whether there's a tornado or not. And again, this is a, a rain shower basically because it doesn't have any lightning. So uh, still showing up that there should be at least some gusty winds there. Again, again, this is heading north and east towards the uh, picket, uh, picket boat area here and that will continue to watch that as it goes through. So uh, looks like uh, that tornado warning has uh, just been allowed to expire here for Oconee County. So that's good news there. Uh, uh, looks like uh, at this time uh, we'll keep a close eye on things and we'll update you here a little later on. But for now, we'll return you back to the game, but we'll update you if we have any new updates. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. Hey, here's some of the enthusiasm on that side.